Hello, Miss Maddox. It's Aeon and Fallen here. Today, we're going to be showing you about this wonderful game called Gary's Mod, where it's a giant physics sandbox where you can build all kinds of things, and it will probably be very helpful in our STEM curriculum. Yes, this is called a sandbox. All right. Okay, so the, the uh, this game is a physics-based game that goes through robotics, uh, roller coasters, cars, rockets, everything that has to do with aerodynamics and thrusters and velocity and speed and all that. And calculate. Oh my gosh, it's it's just too much physics. It's all physics. But uh, there's this game is very flexible and it it's uh it's gaming range is very high because it can pretty much do anything and uh hence this roller coaster okay wait okay. yeah so this this ro this it's not a very good roller coaster but there are, it is pretty it's just for it, demonstration it works, it works it's just for demonstration of how this would work um but uh in this game, you're gonna go through the most like the tool, the two tools that you'll uh, be using if you are going to be in a sandbox. It's usually gonna be this physics gun, which I have in my hands right now, and so does Aeon. So this is what it, this is. Hold on, this is what it looks like in 3D view, right? All right, and then you're also gonna be using this tool gun, which has. I'll get in more into this uh, tool gun later. And, um. Alright, so. To open. Uh, so, to spawn stuff and open up the menu, you want to press the Q key. So, that's how you open up the menu. And then you go through and you have all these kinds of different props. You have all these common props, characters, vehicles, items. And then all these bricks and gears and robotics. And then, this is how we make the roller coasters. And then. This would be if you want to make a car. This would be all the kinds of wheels. And then you mm -hmm. have uh, these little things that I, Aeon and I usually use to make rockets if we want to make one. And uh, clearly you can see Aeon and his uh, rocket-powered car. So then you have these, right? All right. Um, you just use these by uh, pressing. You just open this up, and then you press, you know, like you want to spawn the, um, the frying thing, I guess. And then that's how you, that's how it, that's technically how you'd spawn really anything in here. And you can create something like, uh, let's say that car over there. So let me get into this, uh, tool gun a little bit more because this stuff is really in depth. And, uh, so yeah, the, the main, the main, uh, little tool menu and options that you're going to use is probably axis, duplicator. No collide, remover, thruster, and wheel. And weld. Those are probably just going to be the most that you're going to be using. Just because those are the most common. Hence, this is how you use the remover tool. Let's say you spawn something and you would like to remove it. Aeon, where do you go? I'm over here. Earth. I accidentally undid like everything in my car. Oh, yeah. So let's say if I wanted to remove everything of Aeon's car, I would just press that button or click on it with the remover tool and then it literally does what it says. It's, it removes stuff. Um, let's see. The next tool would be the thruster, which you have different options on this. And to use the thruster, you have different thrusters on this. You can have effects. I would put it to none just because it's pretty loud. You can toggle the force, and then you can actually toggle where the thruster goes. So, that's pretty much the thruster. Go. Go. Yes, this is pretty much what the thruster... This is... Alright, so you see these little... Uh, they kind of look like coke cans, right? These are thrusters, and I put in uh, a certain amount of force, and then I press a certain key, and it could go forward or backward. And those are pretty much what thrusters do. Um, for for the wheels, this would be used to create a car. So let's say uh, I just have this random refrigerator, and I decided to put I decided to put a wheel on it. Right, right, right. So, 
if I decided to put a wheel on it, right? And I put it another, I put a wheel on the other side, right? And then all I have to do is unfreeze it and then it'll roll around, sort of. And then the, use the thrusters to steer and control how fast it goes. Um, what else? You also have welding tool. Now this welding tool is, it well it would weld two objects together. So let's say I had, um, alright, so let's say I had this prop and I had this prop, right? And I wanted to weld these two together somehow. So I'd click on one of them like I just did and then I click on the other prop. And uh, I just pick it up, and they'd both move together, kind of in sync. So that's the welding tool. There is also the axis tool. Now this one you're going to want to use for like, like very precise building and everything. So if, you, if I click on this, then I can bring it over and put it on something. Like, say if I want to put it on this, and I could use it to click on it and then I can move it around and it would stay on there. Technically the grid that you see right now that you see on the screen um, it's a mod called Smart Snap and it's free and I'll show you how to get that if we continue on with uh, uh, playing with Gmod a little bit. So I'll get into the Smart Snap maybe in a newer episode. If you want to call them tutorials I guess you could say that. Um, we also have, I think, the last one that really we haven't gone over is no collide. So, if I had two more objects, and I click on no collide with one of them, and then click on another one with no collide, and then I got get out my physics gun, and I, it, yeah, it just really won't collide with any objects. Okay, and yeah, the, te the objects really won't collide into each other. Now the player will, unless you're not in uh, flying mode. And to get into flying mode you just press V and then you can throw objects like a creepy ghost. But uh, if you don't have it on there then you just, you cannot run into them. But these two objects can go together. So that is the tool gun. I will get into these like all the vehicles and chairs and everything. Maybe in another little tutorial things if that's technically what you want to call them because that's technically what they are and yeah I'll see you later that it's it's a very it's not a very good I'm alive. I feel alive. <clears throat> anyway, Bro. it's a very, <laughs> it's a very bad rocket power. Yeah, I'm car. going upside down. Fly away. Be free. Woo! <laughs> it's all so amphibious. Look out! You're gonna, you're gonna crash into the dead alien. <laughs> I don't know. All right. And then you can use those, put them together, and then you can create. Them. <laughs> and get out of. <laughs> what? There he goes. Why? I can't do what I want. I can't take you seriously. <laughs>